Welcome back, CT Sports Now on Vantage Sportsnet. Look who we got. That's our, right. Our parade <laughs> continues. The champs are here. The Staples Volleyball Squad, Class L State champs, crowned last week, and uh, they're here now. Next to Noah, Logan Karstens, Theo Gabor next to him, John Sedlock, the head coach, uh, probably the youngest looking of the trio, <laughs> but he's the head coach. <laughs> He's the, he's the shortest. <laughs> he's That's the right. center. He set that. the whole thing up. But, but <laughs> fellas, thank you so much for coming in. Congratulations on winning two in a row. Uh, is the, the second one as sweet as the first? Thank you very much. Um, well, I didn't plan the first one. I was only on the bench for that. <laughs> well, you oh, listen. So. Listen, every, <laughs> okay. everyone's part of that team. Yeah, right, right. I mean, right. So. so, you know, obviously for me, being a starter on the team, it was, it was pretty awesome. Pretty unforgettable. Yeah. Logan? Uh, I mean, I, I would definitely say, uh, you know, as a senior, both of us being captains, I'd say this year was definitely uh, something special uh, for us because we were, uh, I'd say, the leaders on the team. So to be able to do that, um, us two, was uh, a big deal. Coach, let mm -hmm. me ask you, because these guys just talked about it here, right? You guys graduated eight players from last year's team? I believe it was nine. Nine players from mm -hmm. last year's team. And... and you know, these guys say, you know, our goal coming in, sure, we, you know, we, we wanted to win a state championship. But you graduate nine players. You have one returning starter as from, you know, one mm -hmm. senior coming back who was a starter. You had to be a little apprehensive going into the season. Were, were your sights set on a championship, or was it like, well, we're going to have to see what happens here? Uh, yeah, coming in, expectations were pretty high. Um, I didn't know exactly what to expect. Um, but after the first week of practice, I knew that these guys were definitely going to be contenders for everything. And I'm really proud of them for doing what they did out there. It was when, great. When you have so much expectation, guys, and you have previous success, uh, is it easy in that preseason and getting and getting in in preparation, get, getting ready, and then going out, or is it a little more difficult when you haven't tasted a championship? Um, it's really exciting, you know. You know, coming off like a championship season, everyone's looking out for staples you know coach talked about that all year like people are going to come play staples they're going to play up they're going to play better than they normally would and we were expecting that that's how we practice we, we just really look forward to practice every day put in you know let's, put in the work let's talk about who you beat okay, you guys have three losses all season long two of them to darian yes so you guys come in you, you win the first two two games in the championship match Everything's going, and then all of a sudden, Darian comes back and wins the next two. And in fact, in the fourth game, was the only the only game of the five that wasn't close, right? So mm. momentum right. certainly had moved over there. So like, coach, <laughs> you had to be sweating going into that fourth. And of course, it couldn't be decided with just 15 points. You guys needed 17 to win it, right? That's yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you tell a team going into a fifth set after, as Noah said, the momentum has clearly gone to the other side of the floor? Uh I tell them this is the part where you guys have to do it as a team. You have to dig down, play for each other, play with heart, because that team wants it just as bad as you guys do. And like I said, thankfully, they buckled down and they did it, and it was really, really a wild experience just to see as a coach. It was a great atmosphere. Oh, yeah, I mean, it really definitely. was fun atmosphere. Did mm -hmm. you guys feel it? Was it like, wow, this is as cool a match or as cool, cool yeah. an atmosphere as I've been playing in is Do you feel that? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say so. Uh, you know, a, a lot of our friends were there. It was great to see uh, a lot of people from other teams, a lot of coaches, uh, you know, for that we played for in the past and whatnot. Um, and to, you know, see everyone in the stands, especially, uh, of course, our parents uh, after the game, uh, it was it a was great atmosphere, yeah. yeah. What, was it even sweeter to beat Darian, be honest, right? Yep. Is the team that beat championship yeah. game they beat you in the regular season absolutely mm -hmm, for sure i mean they're a great team so it made it uh that much uh, more challenging and more rewarding when we uh, ended up winning mm -hmm. now they're going to be gunning for you double that next <laughs> year <laughs> oh yeah you have to find two, you're going to have to find two others to to at least stand next to you because these two are, are going off to do some big things that's right right mm -hmm. uh, maryland and south carolina for you guys right the old yes, maryland sir. Logan yep. to south uh, carolina yes. we wish you the best um you think, has it sunk in? It's been three or four days now. Has it sunk in? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's super surreal at first. You don't really, like, realize it just happened. Um, you know, we had our picnic the other day, and everyone was just kind of celebrating and having a good time. Um, yeah, it's definitely sunk in for me. It's well, been awesome. 
there are a lot of champions walking around the uh, the halls there at Staples High School. You guys have had uh, a great year, as we'll see coming up later at some point in CT Sports now with our Vantage Cup. But congratulations, state championship Class L, Staples Wreckers. We'll be right back with more here on CT Sports Now.